I think we're actually pretty much at the end of the quest line. So now we gotta go talk to Chancellor Gascone. That should be interesting all in itself, but... Oh, he, he's literally right here. What's up, Mr. Traitor Man? Ah, you again. I suppose I should thank you for sparing me for all the good it will do. That lumbering pile of scrap Luciana means to lock me in deep storage, I know it! Just leave me to my hand wringing, all right? Maybe we can help each other. I'm going after the shadow, but I need information. Information? Yep. I've been locked in this bleak little room since we parted ways. What could I possibly know? I heard the Omnivox squawking earlier. Is that what this is about? It is. Oh my. The cultists locked you out of the Cogitum, didn't they? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the Shadow's headed for Sol uh, Solthasil. I need to know how the cultists move around the city. Hmm. <clears throat> I could help you, but I'd need something in return. One of Clavicus Vile's scoffing enforcers stalks the mechanical fundament carrying a peculiar contract. Kill this Daedra, bring me the contract, and I'll tell you everything I know. I mean, I did you a favor when I spared your life, first of all. Tell me what you know now. True, I suppose. Despite what you might think, I love this city. Mm-hmm. I can't be a party to its destruction. Seek out gloaming gates, impossibly deep pools of shadow. The cultists use them to travel great distances. You can too. Where can I find these gloaming gates? I know of two. One east, one west. Look for the hidden caves where the shadows gather in force. Once you find a gate, you need only let yourself sink into it. I can't promise you'll like where you end up. Uh, care to explain? The gates weave in and out of Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. You can use them to reach your ultimate destination, just as the cultists do. But you must first traverse the Everglow to find other connected gates. I'll be off then. Set bless your labors. I mean that. Hate me if you must, but I truly hope you can stop this madness. Something about him is just so off, man. I really don't- I don't like the guy. Like, even then, he- I mean, I think he's being genuine, but even then, I don't trust or believe him. He just seems like a shady SOB, you know? Hey, uh, Proctor Luciana. Tell me you have something. Well, I mean, I found a way to pursue the Shadow of Solta uh, Sil. Gloaming Gates. Gates? Of course. My apostles ran down a few rumors about cultists building strange basins on the periphery of the radius, but we never found any of them. How do these gates work? Well, we can use a gate to enter Evergloam, then find a gate inside that leads to the cog... cog... It, that word. So we'll use the cultists' own pathways against them. Makes sense. Can't say I have any desire to fight my way through a plane of oblivion, but we don't have much of a choice, do we? I do. Did Gascone say where they built these gates? I mean, he mentioned one to the east and one to the west hidden in caves. And we have no way to know which will get us to our destination faster. Let's split up. I'll take the western gate, you take the east. Damn it, I wanted to Try go to west. Try to navigate the Everglow. I'll do the same. Hopefully one of us will make it to the Cogatum in time. Or maybe we'll both get there at the same time? I guess we'll find out soon. Yeah, it definitely feels like we're at the end. It makes me wonder too, are, does this mean we're gonna meet Sota Sil? That means we're gonna finally meet the second tribunal. The first one we met obviously was, um, was uh, Vivek over at Vivek City when we did the Morrowind expansion. And now we get to meet Sota Sil, maybe. Perhaps. Seems like it, though. I wonder if we're ever going to meet Al Almalexia. <clears throat> Sothasil's probably my least favored of the bunch. I like Vivek. Almalexia's pretty cool, too. How far is this exactly? Oh, God. Yeah, that's far. Okay. Well. 
Let's get to going. The good thing is that my writing speed is at 60, so... Do I have continuous attack? Yes, I do. So I'm good. I'm going as fast as I can. Uh... Wasn't it over here? I guess it shifted upwards. <clears throat> or maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. There's quests everywhere. Uh-oh. I'm under attack! Run! Wait. I think I'm supposed. Oops. Okay, well. The decision was made for me. I'm gonna end up killing myself. Watch. Or maybe not. Run! Luckily, I'm a Templar, which means I have massive heals. I love Templars, man. Templars are cool. No, there's a way shrine up here. I want this way shrine. Can I get it? Can I please get it? What if I ask nicely? Pretty please? There we go. I think I got it. This place... This place is pretty weird to traverse around. I definitely want this way shrine though. Way shrines are very, very important to navigate through. Oh god. So we're gonna go to actual Everglow? Into Nocturnal's Realm of Oblivion? Holy crap. Dude, I'm scared of heights, so every single time I fall, like literally, I feel it in my gut. Is it above? No, it says below. Hey, oh, there it is, the cave. Ha! Dude, they're everywhere. I want to kill them all. Shut up, Bastion, I know. By the way, I switched Bastion, if it's not already obvious. He used to be a, like a fire, like a, an Inferno Staff fire DPS, magic DPS kind of guy. I made him back into a tank. I like him as a tank. I really wanted to talk to the freaking bird. I didn't know he was gonna be here. Yes, this is it. Everclone. Follow me. What's his name again? Something of Rooks. He says follow me, but he's not even going anywhere. Oh, Gloam Wolves. You know what I kinda wanna do? Um, it's Radiant Glory, right? This is the Execute? Uh, yes. I think I would rather do this. Is it already? It is. Let me see how it works. Okay, maybe I need stronger enemies. It's hard to... I'm, I'm doing too much damage is the problem. So it's hard to test with these guys who are very low health. Where am I going anyways? I think I'm going in this direction. It's really hard to test. I need to just wait until I get... Uh, bigger enemies, I guess. I really hate spiders, my god. Watch your step, Netherless. Shut up. Very nice. Oh. Oh, I think I found my... Let me take that. Go back to my front. Let me kill this guy first. I really... Oh, wrong button. Well, let's try it now. Oh, dude, that thing is powerful. I think I like having an execute. Is it this way? Oh, there's a road to the side. I feel like that guy's a... It is. Let's attack him. Take some healing, Bastion. He's not even gonna attack me. Okay. Okay, screw it. I don't think I'm supposed to fight him right now. Uh, 
All right. I'm kind of liking Radiant Glory, but ooh, here goes another opportunity to operate at my best. And by operate at my best, I mean not so great. Yeah, it's powerful, all right. It's definitely powerful. I'm digging it. Oh, hello. Come on, baby. Oh, yes, another. Come here, you shrike. Dude, this makes me even more excited to have, um... What's her name? Uh... The Templar Companion Chick? I can, I, I can never remember her name for some reason. I think it's better for, like, boss fights, though. So he said it's locked, so I gotta go around. I guess I gotta fight this shrike. My god, that ultimate really did some damage on that shrike. I don't know why I did I why I used it. But hey, it worked. Dual wield increased to 32. Very nice. For you. Dude, I can't imagine getting stabbed that many times. Right. Go right. I will once I kill all these shrikes. Go right when I kill the shrikes. Donezo. Gotta switch to my stamina bar. I really like this build a lot, man. It's really simple to use. It's a lot of switching back and forth. It's essentially two one bar builds. Look at Bastion farting on him, dude. He's a monster. Wait, is can I not go in there? How do I go in there? Oh, I go around. Got it. Tracking. Ha! Oh, hello. These guys stand no chance. What is that guy? Oh, that's just a human with a torch. I thought it was a fireman. Not, not like a fire. Never mind. Okay. We've got to be close. We are. Okay, let me take a look at the map again. I think I have to go this way. So I don't even think I need to fight that shrike. Yeah, this has got to be the way. This one, though, I'm going to fight. And then is it up there or is it this way? It kind of look... Uh... I'm going to guess it's this way. I'm willing to bet up there is just like a dead end. I'm digging that. I'd rather have this than that damage over time that I had. Vampire's Bane, I think I had. I think that was the morph that I had on. Where are you going, Shrike? You ain't gonna kill Bastion. It ain't gonna work. He's too tanky, literally. Yes, sir. Cliffs of Twilight, it's called. I was in the Midnight Marmalade? Me Manage... Mm sure. I'll let you guys read that if you guys would like. Whatever it is I'm looking for, it's here. I guess I just gotta follow the road. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. That executes amazing. I think I've heard people call it the Jesus Beam or something. Ah! 
Jesus Beam is right. What is that shadow orb? I don't know why I didn't just switch parts. I just kind of wanted to see what happens. Okay, whatever. Dude, they're... Oh, these guys think they're sneaky. There's one right here and one on the other side. You know what? Just come over here. Like, I kind of like the magic side better. But the stamina side does a lot more damage. At least that's what it feels like. Whoa. He tried to do something. Teleport again and I don't know. But he really he couldn't do it because we offed him. Ha! I love doing that, dude. I love sitting there butts down. I know you guys are probably seeing a lot more powerful builds than this, but I enjoy it a lot, dude. I enjoyed this build a lot. Get your butt over here. See, it's in situations like this where my torque of consist total consistency comes into play. Because while I'm under 50%, oh god. Yeah, while I'm under 50%, my other half gets increased, uh, what is it called? Uh, regen. Do your worst night hack. <gasps> You'll get nothing from me. Sit! Never mind. <laughs> ah! Ew! I probably should have waited to get regen. Ow. She's already dead. I literally stabbed her in the back. Thank you. I'm unaccustomed to being captured. A shrike captain wouldn't defend just any gate. This must lead back to the city. Follow me. So she got here before I did, and then she got captured. Portal to the Clockwork City. So this is it. We're actually going back to the city. Who's this? Oh, that's somebody's companion. Somebody's Miri. I Mind recognize a healer. this place. These are the tunnels that lead to the Kogadam. Looks like the Factotums put up a fight when the Shadow came through. Not enough, it seems. This goes to... There, the Shadow's Ward. That's interesting. I, I kind of want to see this. This goes to the Thieves' Guild thing. The Outlaw Refuge. Oh, you can't actually go in there because the door is like... Messed up. Or the, the road is messed up. I can't ride my horse off. Man, this was a waste of time. I should have just kept going towards the mission. Or the quest. Who's talking? would guide me through the darkness one day. I couldn't find a use for it then. But now... Yes. He said that logic and wisdom would part the shadows of doubt. What is she doing? She did it! It worked! How could he have known? Never mind. Meet me at the entrance to the Kogadam. We have work to do. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I guess it wasn't, because if I would have just followed the quest, I would have never saw that. But she she did some magic. I don't even think she knew she knew magic. Oh, I can't even get in there? Blasphemy, I say. I'm so confused right now. Wait. Oh, there you go. I don't often admit surprise, but I'll be candid. That was one of the weirdest journeys of my life. And I've lived a very, very long time. I bet. What now? With the shadow barrier removed, we can move freely between the Brass Fortress and the Kogadam again. Now we have a Daedric Prince to thwart and a god to save. I hope you're ready. I'm ready. No, I'm not. Because, of course, I don't need any of this, man. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna do any uh, I don't often researching on this. Would you tighten that armor and sharpen your weapons. Entering the Cogadum Centralis can prove deadly on the best of days. This is far from the best of days. 
What should we expect inside the Cognigodum? Beyond whatever Daedric horrors the shadow left in its wake? Daedric the horrors? shifted into its strongbox configuration as soon as the alarm sounded. So now we have to contend with inaccessible platforms, hostile factotums, unleashed fabricants. Sounds reasonable. Sounds fun. Do you think the defenses might slow down, uh, uh, slow the shadow down? You know I don't put much stock in hope. Sotha Seal prepares for every conceivable eventuality, but the shadow is Sotha Seal. It's difficult to create countermeasures for yourself. We can't count on Sotha Seal. This task falls to us. But what Array. if? But what if Sotha Seal did calculate for this eventuality? You never know. Uh, yes, I'm prepared to enter the Cognitum. The shadow's got to be approaching the throne by now. We have to hurry. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna definitely switch out the appearance of my character between this series and the next series. Because I really... I don't like the way this character looks right now. It's not my favorite. But we'll see. Just as I suspected. The defense system locked down the bridge. Slag it. I can use this terminal to unlock it, but the alarm cut the power. Looks like it has two charging junctions. I need you to find two core pumps. Can you do that? Yeah. Uh. One other thing. There's a master factotum down here called... Greetings. I am Ioth. Please be advised. The sacred Cogatum Centralis is currently sealed. I kindly encourage you to exit the Cogitum immediately. Uh-oh. Thank you for your compliance. Not going to happen, Ios. Well, I guess we gotta talk to Ios. Beginning entity analysis. Error. Entity exists outside known posse points. Transitioning to general reception array. Hello. What are you? I am Ios. The Automata Incarnum Overseer System. Master Seal created me to maintain and supervise the substrata operations of Clockwork City. This partition can provide answers to Class 7 queries only. Thank you for your understanding. Yeah, but your master's in danger. Let us through so we can help him. Assessing threats to Master Seal. Dreaming. Open window. Sunlight through glass. Threat analysis prepared. Prospect Numidium. Negative. Prospect Almalexia. Negative. Prospect Erasure. Negative. No existential threat detected. Almalexia? Does he consider Almalexia a threat? There is a threat. The Daedric Prince Nocturnal. Accessing privatized threat array. Dreaming. <coughs> Excuse me. Threat located. Nocturnal. Ultra. Unfathomable mistress of shadows. Prospect registered. Risk level moderate. Moderate? Thank you for your concern. Now can you help us? Motive evaluation complete. Non-hostile intent confirmed. Assistance threshold increased 20%. <laughs> I can now provide advice and analysis. A manual override is required to proceed. Lower automata still adhere to trespass protocols. Use caution. Oh my god, Ios is an idiot. So it looks like I gotta go all the way around this way, then back, and then all the way around, and then back. So it looks like it's going to be a journey. Where are you going? It's a good thing that Bastion's with me. Because he's a monster. Nice try. That was cute. You're not going to beat me though, bruh. Not gonna beat me. Not today. Tomorrow, maybe, though. Whoa, he exploded on me. 
splurged all over my face. I take that back. Hey, that was easy. That's all that's all I was looking for? Psh, cake. Give me a real challenge. Watch, the final boss of this DLC is gonna be some gigantic factotum. And we're gonna have to freaking fight him and he's gonna be like the toughest thing in the world. Hey Proctor, long time no see. I have 367. I really need to give some to some of my tank characters because I I'm running low on some of my other characters. Oh, I thought, I thought she actually hit me. It sounded like she hit me, but she didn't. Sit your butt down. Don't let them finish. It's a little rude. They deserve to finish too, Bastion. I don't think we're talking about the same thing. I love this character. It's so much fun. I'll, I'll say it again, it's not the strongest in terms of DPS uh, out there, but it's a ton of fun. It's like I do no management of... I mean, I, I'll drink a potion here and there, but... Okay. Yeah, I do very little management. I'll drink a potion here and there, but if I'm running low, I'll just swap bars. And, and vice versa. It's just It just keeps going like that, dude. It's so much fun. I love this build. <clears throat> I don't know about really long fights, though. I would have to test that out one day, but... For, like... More shadows. Even thicker than before. Damn. The shadow banishing spell I used on the lift overtaxed my nerve junctions. We need to find another way through. Try throwing that switch. This is not gonna go well, is it? I see something. Some kind of light burning away the corruption. A lamp. Like the one you used to expose the shadow. Another switch. Try it out. Something's gonna happen. When Silk Silk saved me, he said I would shine a light one day. Could this be the questions for another time? Let's keep moving. We're gonna meet Sotha Sil. I said the, the quest says find Sotha Sil. We're gonna find the second tribunal. Oh, the eye is brave and foolish. Who is that? More shadows. Let's hope Sotha Sil had the foresight to install those lamps here, too. I'm telling you. Sota still prepared for all of this. Sota Sil's a genius. I think that voice was the shadow of Sota Sil. For Narnia! Dunzo, homie. Who's next? Who wants some? You do? Dude, these guys are cake. I need a real challenge. Where's the shadow? I want the shadow. Where's your boss, homeboy? I really want the shadow because these guys are <laughs> whack. They really need to make... I, I, I've heard like this stuff where... Relish the victory while you can. It will take more than a lapse to keep me from the throne aligned. Yeah, I've heard this thing where people are, like talking that they kind of wish that there was like a toggle for a, like where you could keep it on this difficulty and then another toggle for like people that are experienced who can make the overworld content a little bit tougher. That would be great for like someone for like me, for example, because this game is. As much as I love this game, it's really simple. 
It, uh, where am I? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Ah, I'm coming. Haha. -ha. Wait, it's not this way. Oh, it's. Oh, it's got. I gotta go around. Got it. I don't have to fight them, I don't think. Wait, no, wait, I. There's something here. Oh, it's this. Crap. I set myself up for failure. I have failed myself. Dude, that Jesus beam is strong. You should be What is Salt still capable of? Damn, we've got to find the release. Hey, start That's got it. Let me kill these guys first before they interrupt me. Fashion, take care of them. Never mind. Okay, Aos, I need your assistance. Greetings. This partition governs all axle operations and gate controls. How can I assist you? Uh, I kind of need you to lower the gate that blocks our passage to the throne room. Evaluating access petition. Dreaming. Raindrops on glass. Wood smoke. Access granted. Please make swift progress to the throne room. Daedric corruption detected. Nice. But he said, she said that, uh, there's Daedric Corruption detected. Hold on, which way is it? Below? So it's this way? Close now. Close enough. Now, I will unlock this fool from the throne and claim what's mine. Uh-oh. It's time we take care of business. In other words, it's time to duel. Oh wait, wrong. Wrong IP. Never mind. The throne aligned. Confront the shadow of Sotosil. Dude, you have summoned my trap card. Oh crap. Oh! He's using the skeleton to deal with you. I can't hear what she's saying. Bastion, you beast! Ow! That vaguely hurt a little bit. Where'd you go? What is happening? That was so cool, though. What the f? Where did you? What are you doing? Fear. Never mind where I came from. I'm keeping Seal alive. You ungrateful shrew. We can't let the shadow escape. Just hurry. I can't hold the light for long. What do I do? Now, at the end, you bicker. How predictable. Is that? Nocturnal? Why do you struggle so? Do you not see that it's hopeless? Sleep now. Give in to the dark. I can't hold it much longer. Get up, comrade. You have to turn the skeleton key now. How? I will not yield. Go, friend. Do as fear says. Unlock the throne. Free so the seal. I don't know how. Okay, use the skeleton key. I want that outfit. That looks dope. You trespass, Erdra. The clockwork city shall beg or wait no longer. Be gone. You achieve nothing, little godling. The triad looms upon Somerset's shores. All that is, 
it shall be ours. Well done, my friend. Not enough theatrics, Luciana. On your feet. Luciana? Oh. We should return to the surface. She died. This is no place for mortals. Oh my god, dude! Luciana died, that's sad! Damn. That was cool, dude, those animations. <gasps> we get to meet Sota Cell! The prisoner. At last. You are early. Or perhaps late. It makes little difference. I'm glad you've come. Tamriel owes you a debt. Are you fully restored? Restored, yes. I reclaimed my shadow, and with it, knowledge of what transpired and what's to come. But those calculations will keep. I owe you a boon. Service, like all equations, demands precise reciprocity. I wonder what would you ask of me? What about the skeleton key? It's a pretty important question. Clever. At another time, in another place, I would gladly part with it. In truth, I have no interest in Daedric baubles. Unfortunately, the Shadow Queen still lurks on our threshold. I must send this key away, farther than your feet can carry you. So what does that mean? Luciana's collapsed, uh, uh, Luciana collapsed during the battle. Can you help her? Altruism. A rare trait. Luciana will die. If not here and now, then elsewhere and later. I can delay her death if you wish, but to what end? Consider carefully. Luciana means a great deal to me, but grief cannot be avoided, only deferred. Damn. What other gifts do you offer? Can you give me the power? Can you give me power? <laughs> power. Interesting. How to what end, I wonder. You possess a great well of potential. Unexplored depths, hidden by self-doubt and narrow perspective. Feel no shame. I know something of self-doubt. I can reveal this potential, if you wish. Uh, I mean, I made up my mind. Ask and you shall have it. What happens if I choose power? What do I get? But I don't want Luciana to die. Especially since she... Luciana's the reason we're here. Well, Fear's the reason we're here, but she's the reason we gained access... Or found out how to gain access to the city. And then she's helped us on numerous occasions from the birds to everything. I am curious about the power, though. I'm gonna save Luciana. It is done. The recalibration may take some time, but the Proctor will make a full recovery. I know she will put this gift to good use. Please, take this as well. A token from my personal collection. It is and always has been yours. The timer. You gain a 100% experience point bonus from all sources for two hours. The timer pauses when you are offline and resumes. So it's basically just an experience scroll. What is this? Uh, Proctor's Bronze Fist. Part of the Livewire set. And a skill point. Okay. Nothing. Nothing really spectacular to be honest, but... Let's see the chicken. We're already at the end, so it doesn't even matter. So we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll do that. There we go. It is done. <clears throat> Strange. I spent lifetimes here in a world of tangible forms, but each time I emerge from the throne, it's like I'm seeing it for the first time. Broken. Impoverished. Beautiful. Man, I'm legitimately really curious what I would have gotten if I chose power. What will you do now? It seems I must delay my work for a time. 
And I reclaimed my shadow, I learned a great deal. Daedric plots, alliances and betrayals, the return of things lost in time, the loss of things the world thought certain. I have much to do. Can I help? What do you need? In the short term, I need to evade fear. He took his leave to attend to matters outside my fortress. I wish to speak with both of you in a more private setting. Please find fear, and then meet me at the Elegiac Replication. Elegiac? Replicate? I don't know. I'm gonna forget how to say that in two minutes. Just watch. I'll find him and meet you there. We will speak in time. First, find a Vaith fear. I wish for both of you to meet me at the Elegiac Replication, a memorial south of here. Our discussion should be away from prying eyes and ears, even those of my own people. Okay, but first things first, where's Luciana? You will find her in her retreat here in the Basilica. My Fictotums tend to her wounds even as we speak. Of course, you already know how this will end. I hope that knowledge brings you some measure of peace. I should have went with power if she's gonna die anyways. Okay, I wanna find... I wanna find Luis... Luisi... Luciana. Where is her retreat? Was it this way? Yeah. Talk to... Yep. Get in there. <clears throat> Hello. Set. So the seal. Is he... He's fine. We did it, Luis. Luis. What I keep saying... I, I keep messing up her name. Luciana. Thank the gears. The people. My people. They're safe. He knew. He knew this would happen. He said I would shine a light one day. Uh, do you see? Everything built to this. Everything. Every battle. Every sorrow. It finally makes sense. You'll see Sothasil soon. I asked him to save you. You asked him that? Uh, after all the impatience I showed you? The bad temper? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I've never met a more altruistic soul. Aww. Still, I'm not sure even so the seal could save me this time. I feel it in my bones. This is how I end. He promised you, uh, promised me he will say, uh, say, uh, you will survive this. Perhaps you're right. You know, I asked Sotha Seal to spare someone close to me long ago. You refused. Now I see. I understand. I'll try to make your choice mean something. You have my word. I feel horrible. She's a great person. Frustrated and a little high strong, but that doesn't make her a bad person. It makes her dedicated. Loyal, even, you know? Dedicated. Very dedicated. That's like, that's like the big thing. Alright, let me see. How far? It said south. That's literally just right on the bridge. Right? Isn't, isn't this the bridge? Okay, well, let's go to the bridge. Luckily, it's not that far, especially with my speed all maxed out. Got a message. Not looking at it yet, though. I got to go complete this quest. I think this is the final quest. It really feels like it. Really feels like this. This is the the ceremony after the final battle, if you will. Every DLC has it for some reason, like where they have the final mission is just a big celebration. Hey, fear. Ah, my erstwhile companion. You look remarkably coherent. Most mortals caught in a Daedric Tempest would suffer some lasting effects. I'm impressed. Baffled, but impressed. Hey, Sotha still asked me to find you, by the way. Already? Uh-huh. I expected him to wait at least a week before summoning me. Seal's concept of time bears only a faint resemblance to our own. You should set out. I'll be along shortly. Uh, what are you doing out here? Taking it all in, I suppose. 
Surely you won't begrudge me a moment of vulnerability. This place, it is something. I sense that I won't return anytime soon, if at all. When you've lived as long as I have, that actually starts to mean something. Uh, what's to keep you from coming back? One can only marvel at a rival's triumphs for so long before that awe turns to resentment. And I have no time for petty jealousy. I have plans of my own, and countless realms to explore. I can't afford to linger anywhere for long. Makes sense, I suppose. Uh, where were you? Luciana and I, uh, Luciana and I nearly died fighting the shadow. He was right there. I mean, we saw him. He, like, once she collapsed, he walked up to her while we escaped. I don't even know why this is a question. You didn't, though. Bully for you. In truth, I sought an alternate route to the throne. Through the Everglow. Unfortunately, Nocturnal detected my presence immediately. One of the few burdens of near divine power. And difficult to miss. So she trapped you? Trapped? No. Impeded, perhaps. Fortunately, Nocturnal's attention turned to you and the good Proctor when you defeated the Shadow. It gave me the opportunity to pinpoint the object of her fury. You. I followed her to the throne. The rest is history. Oh, gotcha. Makes sense. So now, let me see. Uh, oh, we've been here before at some point. What is this place called? Oh, the L... The, uh, I knew it. I already don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. Let's try to avoid combat. Just get there. And see what Sota Sil needs from us. Bastion, keep up and avoid conflict, please. I'm not trying to get into any squabbles right now. Is this it? This is it? Oh, thank you. How did you get here before us? Of course, old friend. You seem troubled. More troubled than usual, I mean. Receptive, as always. He's tall. I do not wish to diminish your achievement, but Nocturnal's defeat here will be short lived. What's more, she does not act alone. A third enemy looms at the edge of my sight. Their covetous eyes are now fixed on the Somerset Isles. Then we should inform the rest of the Sijiks. You'll need to prepare. I will inform them personally. I have a separate task for you, Devith. Take the skeleton key. <gasps> Keep it hidden for as long as you can. I trust that this task pleases you. After all, your love of such trinkets is what brought you here in the first place. Sometimes I wonder if you see too much. <laughs> I'll keep it safe. Farewell, debate fear. We will not meet again. Damn! I haven't visited this memorial for centuries, but even I need reminders every now and again. What? What is this memorial of, anyways? Do you like this place? I do. It took me the better part of a decade to perfect it. Every stone and flower tells a story. Tales of how things were. How they ought to be. I thought about destroying it on more than one occasion. I'm glad I didn't. I have questions. I know. <laughs> Ask and I will answer truthfully. Just know that the truth often fails to satisfy. Who are you, really? You expect something grand, but I promised you the truth. I am only what time and circumstance made me. Son of a lost house, friend to a fallen king. Some will tell you that we are the product of our choices. I've never found that to be the case. But well, you're supposed to be a god, right? I am whatever the people need me to be. Uh huh. A guardian, an oppressor. For some, too distant. For others, too meddlesome. I am the canvas upon which they paint their dreams and resentments. A vessel for their hopes and doubts. 
a mirror. Nothing more. If you believe that, why even call yourself a god? I don't. But my companions, Vivek and Almalexia, see their divinity as essential. Godhood brings them joy and purpose. They find meaning in the theatrical. Who am I to deprive them of that? That that's fair. I I kinda really like him like his thought process on that. Uh I'm really curious about this. What do you, what are your feelings on Almalexia? Almalexia defies simple analysis. I doubt she could even describe herself accurately. <laughs> to understand Almalexia, you must first understand the value of fiction. Vivek fancies himself the poet, but in truth, Am is the greatest storyteller. That was kind of rude, but okay. How so? Vivek knows the boundaries that separate fact from fiction. He knows them so well that he's learned how to break them. He exists inside his verse, but recognizes the lies, the contradictions. He both does and does not believe his own tales. How's Almalexia, di uh, Almalexia different? She believes her tales <clears throat> implicitly, as does everyone else. Her capacity for deception appears limitless. She sows lies like a master gardener sows seeds, and the harvest of trust and adulation is breathtaking in scope. Does that bother you? Not in the slightest. As I said, we are, all of us, bound by our nature. Our Alexia does what she does because she cannot do otherwise. It will not end well. But then, even the best endings rarely bring joy. It does sound like it bothers him, though. And it did say he, it didn't say when we were inside that uh fabrication place or whatever inside the city or whatever said that Almalexia was a potential threat, not Vivek. Vivek wasn't even brought up or mentioned. It was just Almalexia, so it sounds almost as if he has. Somewhat of a grudge against her for some reason. Uh, what about Vivek? Vivek is my brother. He knows my struggles and I know his. That knowledge makes our relationship complicated. To truly know someone is as much a curse as it is a blessing. That's true. What are his struggles? Regret. We are bound by that. He also suffers a kind of enslavement. Not unlike my own, in fact. Beauty holds the keys to his shackles. Beauty and the love of great works. Great heights. His appetites are insatiable. Thus, his despair. Despair? Yes. A poet's despair. Vivek craves radical freedom. The death of all limits and restrictions. He wishes to be all things at all times. Every race, every gender, every hero, both divine and finite. But in the end, he can only be Vivek. And that's not enough? To be a god hero? Not even remotely. Damn. Damn. We're getting some really deep lore on the, uh, on the tribunal. Uh, okay, let's change the subject. Obviously, because we already exhausted all the dialogue for the tribunal side. What is all this for, anyways? The Clockwork City. I sometimes ask myself the same thing. May I confess something to you? Yeah, of course. I suffer from a peculiar ailment. Shall I describe it? I bear the cruel weight of certainty. Total, absolute, relentless certainty. People rarely comprehend the luxury of doubt and the freedom that comes with indecision. I envy you. Damn. I can imagine how frust frustrating that could be. Uh, didn't 
you just say that you question whether the city is worth the effort? Indeed. But such questions are flaccid. Cursory indulgences that come and go in an instant. The truth is that my actions, both good and evil, are inevitable. Locked in time. Determined by chains of action and consequence. So you were forced to build the Clockwork City? Compelled. This city serves a noble goal. The redemption of Tamriel. The unification of competing forces. The destruction of the Daedra. Unfortunately, it is an endeavor built upon a lattice of corpses. Betrayal, untold horrors. Do you understand? Yeah. Then I pity you. <laughs> I didn't expect that answer, but okay. <laughs> uh, changes the subject. What did you want to talk to me about? I instructed Devaith to run from the battle that is to come. Now, I urge you to run toward it. Long ago, I brokered a truce with the princes of Oblivion. This pact bound eight princes to an oath that they would never again set foot on Tamriel. They, what? If that's true, how did Nocturnal attack us in the Cognitum? I don't think this is a part of Tamriel. Nocturnal was not present when the princess signed the Cold Harbor Compact. Makes Thus sense. She flouts its restrictions. Now, this is important. Nocturnal does not act alone. Two other princes lie in wait. Plavik is vile and Mafala. The Spider Queen person. I already defeated uh, Plavik is vile in Vardenfell. Defeated? Give my candor, but Clavic is vile cannot be defeated through force of arms. Neither can my father. They're Daedric princes, of course not. So what should we do? I have <clears throat> preparations to make outside my clockwork realm. You must stay vigilant. Take heed of any Daedric incursions and stand ready to fight. The prisoner wields great power, making reality a metaphor. We will need you before the end. Why do you keep calling me the prisoner? A fool's hope, perhaps. I should explain. Look around you. All of this exists because it must exist. I stand here, in this place, in this moment, not because I wish to, but because I have to. A result of action and consequence. So wouldn't that make you the prisoner? Clever, but incorrect. The prisoner must apprehend two critical insights. First, they must face the reality of their imprisonment. They must see the determinative walls, the chains of causality that bind them to their course. And you haven't done that? I have, but I fall short of the second insight. The prisoner must see the door to their cell. They must gaze through the bars and perceive that which exists beyond causality, beyond time. Only then can they escape. And you're saying you don't see the door? I see only unsteady walls. If the people of Tamriel must exist inside this cell, I will make sure that the walls are stable, the gaps are sealed, and all who remain stay safe within it. He talks almost as if he has control of reality. I don't know, it's complicated. But if that's the case, he is a divine power. Making him a god in a sense. So I guess I can understand where people call him gods, but it's weird that he doesn't consider himself one. Uh, I guess I don't have any more questions. I've met few heroes like you. Very few. I take this matter of the triad upon myself, but in truth, 
You may be the one that saves us. The prisoner who frees the world. We shall see. Farewell. I don't understand why he's sending us instead of fear, even though fear is clearly more powerful than us. He killed all those fabricants uh, in, in that one location. Remember? Uh, it was impressive, not gonna lie. And of course, dude, I really need to clean out my freaking inventory. Because I could have just stacked all of that. He's gone. This place really is beautiful. But alright guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this series, this video as well. This was a pretty good one. I wouldn't say it's up there on one of my favorites though if I'm being completely honest. The zone itself was amazing. The story was is pretty cool. I like the fact that Nocturnal ended up attacking us in a sense in the very end. That whole cinematic experience, that, uh, that thematic experience that happened at the end was fantastic. It was really cool. It was had a little eerie feeling to it too. Uh, I really liked that whole aspect behind it, uh, but it kind of felt like it was more of the same compared to the last DLC. So I'm hoping that the next time we encounter, I think they said we're going to Somerset next, and it's alluding to the fact that we're going to see Almalexia or meet Almalexia. So I don't know. We'll see. First it was Vivek, now it was uh, it, it was um. Uh, Sota Sil, and I'm hoping we meet Almalexia to finish off the Tribunal series. So it should be pretty cool, to say the least, but this one was, it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite by any means, but it was okay. I enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was interesting all the way through, but in terms of storytelling, it was probably mid-tier, maybe a little bit higher than mid-tier if I'm being completely honest, but it wasn't nothing spectacular, you know? But I still enjoyed it nonetheless. If you guys enjoyed it too, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.